Hi, scientists. It is Scientist Kelly here in Seattle, Washington, and I am so excited to be back with you today. I know that this is lesson 4.2, Patterns in Codes. Woo! We get to talk about codes today, and I love codes, and I remember doing codes with my siblings as we grew up, even these reverse things in the mirror. They have to go to the mirror and read the reverse code. Okay, let's continue on and let's get to the good stuff. In the last lesson here, you and I, <laughs> we read about how humans use patterns to communicate. You filled out this table and we are going to go looking back at 84 right now. So page 84, go take a peek. What did you write down? What are some of the communication methods we read about and how did they use patterns? Remember in language, it was about letters, talking drums, the different pitches. Remember how they use different parts of their hands? The semaphore, remember that's kind of crazy? <laughs> the wooden boards arranged in different shapes. The telegraph using Morse code. And of course, the digital devices, things that we're on right now. And what they use is binary code. Codes are one kind of pattern that humans use to communicate. A code is a pattern of symbols. Today we'll investigate how using a code can help us to communicate information across distances, even from me to you right now. I'm excited. Try to think of codes that you've seen or heard about before. Hmm. What are some examples? Are you thinking? Let's take a look. Okay, here are some prime examples of different codes that you might know. In the right hand corner here is Morse code, which would be used in a telegraph. We have sign language. We have hieroglyphics. We have emojis. <laughs> I know you guys know emojis. And up here on the left hand side, we have braille. I actually have this really cool magazine, PC World, and it's a book full of Braille. And what's very interesting about this is that it's a code. And those who understand and can read Braille, they're reading a magazine when they rub their hands over it. I don't understand it. I know that it represents letters and words, but I am not skilled or practice at it. So to me, it's just a very interesting texture, okay? But to those who understand the code, they're getting a whole different message than me just rubbing my hand over it. Okay, let's keep going. When we see the letters O, N, E, we know they make the word one. Don't you know that? Hmm. Maybe I should have asked you first. How is this an example of a code though? Who can understand it? Yes, 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 I can. But can you? And why is that? Is it that because we're both working off of the English language? We both understand that when the O-N-E is put together, that it says one? Yeah. We're gonna go back really quick and we're gonna read just this little snippet about binary code because that's our focus. And I need us to kind of think back really fast about what this said about the humans, their communication, the patterns. Okay, here it is. I'm just gonna read this little snippet. Believe it or not, all of these digital devices use a code that involves patterns of just two numbers, zero and one. This code is called binary code, and people use it to program these devices to perform specific actions. Patterns of zeros and ones serve as instructions for digital devices. Every time you type a message, your device converts each letter into binary code and sends that code to another device. The other device recognizes the code and displays the letters of your message to the person receiving it. Similarly, 
when you talk on a cell phone, let me grab my phone here. So when I talk on the cell phone, my phone uses binary code to convert my voice to binary form and sends it. And then the person on the other side is converting the binary signal back into sound so they can hear each other. Oh, how does it work though? Binary code is special because it has only two symbols, zero and one. Now, compare that to our English alphabet. Which one's more complex, meaning which one has more things? How many symbols does our alphabet have? Yeah, 26 different symbols versus binary just having the zero and the one. We understand messages that are written with the letters of the alphabet, but digital devices understand messages that are binary code. Let's try sending and receiving messages again, this time using binary code. You guys ready to have some fun? <laughs> I'm looking forward to some fun with you. Here we go. Think back to when I sent the message to you previously, what was challenging? Do you remember? It was something like, uh, for, you know, second to the left, first from the right, you remember? Was that challenging? Now I'll communicate an image to you using binary code. You will decode my message. So I'm gonna give you the series of ones and zeros and your end product will be whatever I have in mind of my image here. Okay, that means you're going to translate it. You're going to translate it from binary code into an image that you're going to recognize, that I'm going to recognize, because I'll have created the code. On page 86 in your notebook, the district packet, you might have to remember how to draw that 7x7 seven seven grid. You could use a post-it note. You could use scrap paper again. I'll give you a moment to draw the quick 7x7 seven seven grid if you need it. You can pause the video if you need. As I read the binary code, use the code to figure out whether or not to fill each square in the grid. Okay. I will start in the top left hand corner. I will go left to right with my code, just like we read here, left to right. And then I'm gonna start back to the left, go left to right. So line by line, it'll go left to right. The ones are gonna be black or shaded in really quick with marker, and the zeros will be white, so you can leave it blank. Follow along as I read my binary code, okay? If I say one, fill it in. If I say zero, leave it blank. I'll also use my fingers. So as I say one or zero, so you get a visual with my announcement. Are you ready? Here we go. Make sure I got my code up right. Okay. Zero zero, one, 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 zero. Okay, next line. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Next line. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Next line, zero, zero, one, 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 zero. Next line, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, 
zero. Next line, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Last line, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero. Okay, that's the end of my code. I'll give you just a moment to finish shading in. I'm sure you were like a mad person just shading in as fast as you can. I'll give you just a minute. Okay, you can also pause the video if you need. Share it with somebody at your house. Show me the screen. I might not be able to see it, but it might be fun for you just to be like, ha, 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 Scientist Kelly, I know what you got. Come on, share it with somebody. Tell them how you did it. What is the image that I communicated? You think you know? Let's take a look. Is this what you got? The letter A. Here's the image I communicated to you through binary code. Quickly turn to page 87 in your notebook or from your district materials. If you don't have either, you can write it down on a scratch piece of paper or just think with me really quick. I do want you to think about how similar was your image to my image? Was it hard to track the zeros or ones? Did you feel like it was good? And was using the binary code easier or harder than describing your image to your partner in the previous lesson. Remember this? Which was harder? How many of you like the binary code? Okay. How might it help to communicate a message across long distance? Like, think about that. How does that help Get a message across long distances. Yeah, it's faster. It's simpler. Yeah, it's different than 26 letters. Yeah. The activity at the end of this lesson in our classroom would have been you exploring the SIM, okay? The code communicator tool. If you have access to this SIM, Please, please, please take time to explore. I'm going to quickly just go over it because we'll be diving deep into it in the next lesson. But let's just take a look at what it says. This is called the code communicator. Let me shift this over just an inch. And the code communicator tool has many different little platforms here. It's a model of how digital devices use binary code. So you get to play around with images, text, so like typing words, and sounds. This app allows us to decode and encode. So encode means to turn information such as an image that you've already drawn. So let's say if I already drew this heart, how would I encode it into code? Or decode, meaning turning the code into information that we can understand. So when I was giving you the zeros and ones, you were decoding my message, which was the letter A based on the binary code. Okay, let's take a look. Hi guys, here we go. <laughs> so when you explore the app, um, you know, I want you to just take time to do it and think about the different um, methods of getting things from and back and forth into binary code. Um, what features are you going to notice when you explore? So I want you to be thinking about that while you participate in the app. And how could this app help you send and receive information across distances? Okay, let's take a look. i got to switch platforms here. Give me one minute. Okay, here we go. So it says code communicator tool, number two. And I'm going to click on it and it gives us the option of encoding 
or decoding. So let's go and encode quickly. I'm going to do a new message and I can fill in um, this grid on um, make a picture <laughs> with this crazy smiley face and I can save the code and if you notice there will be a string of code here so now I'm going to go and decode it I'm going to go back to home now we're going to go look at it in the decode section I'm going to look at our saved code and right now we just have a grid with zeros and we have a string of binary code so in order for me to get that crazy smiley face again I'm going to input the string of binary code so I have zero and then I have one, oops, got a little too excited there. Zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. And we have one, 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 and all zeros. So I can check the code says no errors. I can go up to show the colors to see the image that I had previously created. You can hit clear all or delete here. I'm going to go back to home though because I want you to be recognizing the interesting things here such as this sound one. I'm going to go look at the save code that I've already have in play here and there's a string of code and this is important to me because I want you to be thinking and realize that binary code just doesn't happen by zero and ones all by itself always, right? There's clusters, there's groups of get together of the zeros and the ones that provide a message on their own. And then when you cluster many together, it provides a bigger message. So let's get this code in, see if I can do it accurately. Zero, one, zero. Play. One, zero, zero. Play. Zero, one, zero. Play. One, zero, one. Play. Okay. One, zero, zero. Play. <laughs> one, zero, one. Let's see, I think I've got the last one. Zero, zero, one. Let's check our code. No errors! And then it'll show the notes that I get to play. So this is what I want you to explore. This is what I want you to see if you can access the Amplify site. See if you can get on here, have some fun, Play around with the app like you would in class. Um, I know that your teachers allow you time to explore, and that's what this would be doing. You would be exploring it and thinking about all the different features. Um, How is this tool similar to the digital device that I use daily, like this computer? Um, I want you to be playing around with the app. We are going to come back to it in the next lesson. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you so much for having fun with me today. I really hope to see you again. Bye.